This is Poised, an AI assistant for your meetings. And Poised is supposed to help you improve your appearance in the meetings on multiple parameters. So this is my experience using Poised. Meetings is something the majority of us have on a weekly basis. It's a quick way to connect and just get up to speed, but sometimes they can really drag out. Personally, I always want to be the best version of myself in meetings and when I saw Poised, I simply had to try it out. And when you first get started with Poised, then the first thing you will notice when you start testing it and you start using it is their live assistant. This means that every time you have a meeting or you open up a meeting or you simply record yourself, then you will have this little box up in the top right corner or wherever you move it to that will give you live feedback. And you can change between two or four elements that you will get live feedback on. And this can be your pace, it can be filling words, and it can be so many other parameters that you are getting live feedback on. This means that if it's okay for you to have that live assistant, you can adjust along the way in your meeting. Personally for me, I found it very disturbing having this live assistant and it's not always very fast to update all of the feedback that I get. So often I had to speak in a faster tone, a slower tone, I had to speak up, I had to speak down. So for me, it was just not working with the live assistant. Of course you can have it there if you just need some type of feedback. For me, I turned it off and then I started analyzing my meetings after. Because when you're done with your meetings, then you will get an entire report of the specific meeting and then you will get grades. So you will get grades on 13 different categories within five over categories. In each of these categories, you will get a grade where you can see how did you well from zero to 100%. Some of the grades is just a word like a good, bad, you need to improve. But overall, using Poised, I did have some issues connecting it, especially in Safari. I use Google Meet a lot and Google Meet and Safari and Poised, they didn't play well together. So when I had to test Poised, I had to do it in the Google Chrome browser, which was okay for me. I didn't have a problem with that. But I can see other issues occurring if you use other types of browsers, specific desktop applications, because Poised works with every type of meeting app that you're using, whether it's Zoom, Teams, Google Meet, or something forth. They connect with more than 600 different meeting applications, both locally on your computer, but also in the browser. So at this point, it needs to be very agile to be able to support all of these meeting apps. And the way they do that is that you change your speaker to Poised, and then automatically when the Poised speaker is activated, Poist will start to also record your voice. But after you've done your three meetings and hopefully done some analysis on your meetings, at least I did, I really found it interesting to dive in to see how is it I communicate. Because when you reflect over it, you can recognize some of the feedback that you get from Poist and it's quite interesting to see. But when you have been through three meetings or more, then you will get this progress analysis from Poist. And here you will give an overall analysis of how you are, how you speak, and then you can see whether you want to change the way that you appear in your meetings. Another thing that I also need to mention is that with all of these meeting analysis, we have different types of meetings. We have a casual meeting, we have a formal meeting, sometimes we have a presentation. All of this you can change so the AI algorithm adjusts its feedback to you both in the analysis, but also in the live assistant. And I found this super useful because if I was just speaking with a coworker, it was very casual, but if I was speaking with a client, then it was a bit more formal. So I like that I can categorize it into these different types of tones when I have the meetings, because that means a lot for the analysis. If you want to take it a step deeper, then you can also dive into their library of articles where they help you become even better at meetings positioning on the camera, where you should keep your eyes, how you should speak and so on. So the library combined with the live assistant and the analytics will really make your appearance in meetings the way that you want it to be, whether it's more formal or it's more casual. But Poised have apps for both Mac and Windows. As mentioned, they work on desktop and they work in the browser. They work best in the Chrome browser. For me, I couldn't get it to work very well in the Safari browser. 
but my overall experience with poise has been great. I can see I use filler words a lot, which I need to cut down on. And in the future, they will also release a Chrome extension, which will help you with storytelling. And storytelling is something that we all can use, whatever industry we're in. And then you can start using Poise completely free, which I will really recommend you if you have meetings, because Poise just runs in the background. And then when you have time, then you can sit down and then you can analyze your meetings. One thing I'm hoping to see in the future is support for multiple languages. I have a lot of my meetings in Danish and in this sense then I couldn't use Poise only for my English meetings. But on top of that then I know they're working on more accurate feedback. Because as mentioned the live assistant can be a great tool but the feedback is just too slow for me to react on it. So faster feedback and more accurate is something they're working on. But I also tweeted about my entire experience testing out Poised. So remember to jump over to Twitter and follow along if you want to see how I test products just in general. But also when I check out Poised and see what other people think, then people are really positive for Poised. They like the analytics module because that is what they use to really improve their appearance. But based on all of this, I want to give Poised four stars. Even though right now it's a great tool, there's still room for improvement with the live assistant, more precise feedback and the storytelling add-on. But if you want a tool that can transcribe all of your meetings, then you should take a look at Happy Scribe up here. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.